Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Williamson, if you didn't already know. So today I want to tell you a story of my very first tattoo experience. So when I was younger, I would get asked if I was ever interested in getting a tattoo. And of course back then, I definitely wasn't. I was afraid of the pain, the needle, and that it would stay on my body forever. And I just thought that was a weird, weird thing. So when I got closer to the age of 18, my mind totally changed on the subject and I was spot on determined that I wanted a tattoo. I went crazy. I told everyone that I wanted a tattoo sleeve and no, not anymore. I would never do that. Too much for me. So I had the opportunity to go to a tattoo shop with my mom's best friend. And my mom was hoping that would change my mind about getting a tattoo. But did it? No. But obviously, since I saw her face kind of in pain, I was a little bit doubtful that I might not want one. But still, I did. So a year before my 18th birthday, I was determined to get a tattoo. My dad told me that if I was really that passionate about getting one, that it would have to mean something to me really, really mean something to me. Because if it didn't mean something to me, I would regret getting it later, and laser surgery costs a lot of money and takes a lot of time. So I wanted something different. Getting something that's just mainstream just isn't my forte. I thought long and hard and Googled for hours upon hours. I mean, I would stay up all night googling pictures of tattoos trying to get ideas so i finally came up with the decision that i wanted something disney oriented now disney is a big big part of my family's lives we've gone to disneyland three times in disney world once we try to go about every three years or so as a tradition my mom had asked me what i wanted to do as a senior trip and I was stuck between Disneyland and New York. I really wanted to go to New York, but Disneyland is the one I chose. I cho chose Disneyland because it might be the, li the last time that my parents and I would get to go together as a family, and so I couldn't pass up the chance. The experience was awesome. It was just like I was six again. <laughs> I grew up watching Disney movies and Disney Channel all my life. And when we, would go, when we would go to the Seattle Mall, the first place we would end up is the Disney Store, of course. You could say we are a tad bit obsessed. So I came to the conclusion to get Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse tattoos to represent my mom, dad, and all the memories we have cherished together as a family. Now it was time to find the perfect placement to have them had to keep in mind that future jobs might not like or allow the fact that I have tattoos, but I still wanted others to be able to see them. My mom's friend has one behind her ear, and I thought that was a very clever idea. I could hide it with my hair when I was at my job, and then during the summer or something, I could put my hair up like this, and then everyone would be able to see them. I didn't want their full faces because I thought that was a bit too childish and way too out there for me. So I just came up with the idea to get the outline of their heads. So I wanted a plain black outline for Mickey and a plain black outline for Minnie, with her signature bow, of course, pink. So on my 18th birthday, my mom's friend surprised me that she would pay for my very first tattoos. I was elated. But I wanted to wait a few months, so I knew that I was actually ready, and I didn't chicken out. I was ready a few weeks before Christmas. She knew a guy who did tattoos at his own shop in his house, called Wonderland Tattoos. She had gotten some there before, so I knew that he was good, and I wasn't scared at all. I was really excited, and it started to sink in when we got into the shop. I noticed it was really happening. I told him what I wanted and he started to sketch them out. He thought I would be interested and told me the different sizes that he had drawn out. 
a lot of them were a tad bit too big for my liking. And at the beginning, he had told me to let him know that if I didn't like them and that I didn't want them that size to tell him because it would be permanent. So I let him know that they were too big, that I wanted them a lot smaller. When he was finished, he asked me to sit in the chair and my nerves started to kick in. When I heard the sound of the needle buzzing, my heart was racing. I tried my best to stay calm. It took about three minutes to finish the first one, and the first one that I ended up doing was Mickey Mouse. At first, I wasn't sure about getting them both done, but that depended on the amount of pain that I went through. And surprisingly enough, I didn't feel any pain, just a little pinch here and there. So for the second one, I was way less nervous. When he finished, he let me see the tattoos with a mirror, and they were just how I imagined and wanted them to be. He had to, I had to put a special lotion on them during the healing process, which I won't go into detail about because it's a little bit disturbing. So I showed all my friends and family, and most of them loved that idea and the story that went along with them. Now that I have them, just to let you all know, they are really addicting, and I'm already starting to come up with new ideas of tattoos that I could get in the future. The next one I was planning on receiving is a feather in remembrance of my grandfather who passed away a few years ago. Our heritage on that side is Indian, so I thought it would be a perfect resemblance of his life and him. So I suggest that anyone who is thinking about getting a tattoo is to make sure it is something you will want on your body forever. Many people don't have meanings behind their tattoos. They just get them in spite of what they like at the moment and end up not being interested in them anymore. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to get tattoos and I'm so excited to get more. And every time I look at them, I will think of how thankful I am to have my family, and I will remember all the memories we have cherished together. Thank you for watching, and I will post pictures of my tattoos along with this video. Bye!